Welcome back guys, I'm Num003 here, coming at you with another Killer Instinct character tutorial, and this time we got Omen. So Omen is definitely one of the more easier characters to understand, relatively, when you consider the last two that we went through. Uh, it's definitely not going to take as long to kind of explain them, but basically, he is a character that is relatively well balanced, has unpredictable fireballs, and has great neutral game, but if you are looking for a character that is damaging in general, this unfortunately is not the character for you because he does, he is one of the, the least damaging characters just mainly due to the fact that he's focused on kind of like zoning, maintaining the fireballs, mostly having meter all the time, and locking away the meter of the opponent, so it's pretty damn good which is why he is also considered one of like the best characters in the game but anyway let's go ahead and get to the meat potatoes here so first off uh in terms of the neutral game you got the light medium heavy same thing you can see that like some of these moves are a little similar to jago especially the high kick here and even the, the low medium kick. And that is kind of by design because, well, you got the demonic spirit that basically haunts Jago there. But anyways, enough lore talk, we're talking about the game here. But yeah, that's basically the gist for like his air stuff or his um, neutral. He is hella floaty in the air and that is for a good reason. But yeah, forward HP. This is where you get the like the two hits, almost similar to Saber Wolf's um, Ragged Claw attack. It's like the back forward P, but this is just forward HP for Omen. Of course, uh, you could combo into it, and yeah, so that's basically the gist of it for his um, for his like special move or neutral moves and stuff. But yeah, his uh, throw. It's actually uh, a restand, so if you do have it like near the, uh, the wall, you can uh, you can uh, combo off of it. Hold on. Yeah, you would most likely have to hit with a manual, so it's just proper timing, and then you could get the proper punish out of it. So there's that for you. And yeah, as for his uh, character trait. He has what's called, uh, well, it's basically like around the world, very similar to Jago again. So with this, you would be able to do like a light, um, the light link, uh, auto double, excuse me. It's a medium auto double, it's a heavy. And if you do a full circuit, you act, you can actually see in the bottom right that it does close off a bar of meter from the opponent. Which is uh, really cool. Yeah, so there's that for you. And since we're kind of looking at bars, I might as well explain that this time, Omen is the only character to have three shadow bars in the game. And that's mostly due to the fact that he will be using them to kind of like zone out his opponent with the fireballs and stuff. But. We'll get more into that once we do. So yeah, that's one of the unique things about him. Uh, and before we do talk about the special moves, I might as well talk about his um, air, like his uh, mobility in the air. So first off, you got a floaty jump, very similar to like Glacius, for example. But the difference and what makes him better than Glacius is the fact that if you um, that he can retreat. Or he can advance and you could also cancel into the retreat or advance depending on what side you do so you think you're gonna retreat BAM immediately cancel into um, advance and yeah advance covers like very good range here very good for avoiding projectiles for example And then you could constantly like um, throw the opponent off. So especially if you do like a knockdown and you do advance into retreat, you got a really 
good cross-up option that can keep the opponent like guessing yeah so you got something like that which is incredibly good so there's that for you and yeah that's basically the gist of it for his arm ability you know his retreat doesn't really go that far but advancing you can of course do like a air hit into a true combo and then just punish accordingly so let's go into his fireball yeah it's incredibly random <laughs> as you can see here but yeah that's by design like no matter how many projectiles you throw they are all going to be random on how they kind of function because you got some that'll drop straight down you got some that'll be treated as a low you got some that'll kind of linger by and some that'll retreat immediately so it's really just rng in terms of you throwing the fireballs of course if you throw a light fireball it's going to be one medium is two and then of course the heavy is uh three so there's that for you and as for the shadow version of it these are going to be a lot more straightforward so you just uh bring in three fireballs and that's basically the gist of it and We'll get more into the fireball stuff once he get, um, we talk about his instinct, but for now that's basically the gist of it. So the his back um, down back punch is his uh, like mini shield that he can do. It is also sort of a launcher, but yeah, it's like more for you know like protecting yourself against projectiles. The light one is invincible on startup, so it's a good wake up option. But it is unsafe if they do predict it, of course. And yeah, that's a, uh, that's that. And now we'll get to the shadow version. Think of like the um, Soul Satellite, uh, Rose's Soul Satellite in Street Fighter Four. Basically, just a shield, you know. And then, of course, comboable. So now we'll get into... Actually, let's go into his uh, ender for the fireball real quick. That is a bad re-ender, of course. And if you do the um, down back punch ender, it is a launcher. Uh, so you can follow up, of course. But I feel like with his, he is a little bit more difficult to kind of like... Um, to do like air juggles and stuff. So if you want to do like a simple jab, then you could do that, of course. So yeah, there's that. And now we'll go into down forward kick. Just a flurry of attacks. So yeah. A lot of kicks, as you can see. And of course, um, his most damaging ender is going to be this one, the down forward heavy kick. This is what the shadow version looks like. Um, it's more than just a simple 5 hit attack, he could actually shoot out fireballs while doing that, which is kind of neat. So, and of course if you're close, you can't really tell that he's shooting fireballs. But yeah, there's your damaging ender right there. Which again, is not going to be as much as most other characters can lay out their damage, but it's something. You know, if you want to capitalize on damage, that's the ender for you. So, another is going to be his down back kick. This is the shadow slide. It is a low. As much as, you know, people would have liked this to be an overhead, this is unfortunately just a mid. But this is a true low. That's what the linker looks like. That's what the um, shadow looks like. And... Oddly enough, this one is actually more than just a simple exchange ender. So if you... Just gonna spend some uh, meter here as you can see. If you do get that ender... He actually has another battery ender. So yeah, Omen is one of the few examples on the roster to have more than one battery ender. Which is pretty neat. So you got the fireball ender. And then, of course, you got the low um, sweep ender. 
Those are both considered battery enders, so that's essentially one of the reasons why he will always have meter because for one, he's got two battery enders, and two, he is essentially always gonna have like fireball attacks or in in his arsenal. Like it's pretty wild, man. And yeah, not to mention the fact that his battery enders will recover a lot of meter. A lot like Jago. So there's that for you. And yeah, his last Well, he has technically two more special moves. We'll go into this one right here. So what this does, um, you actually have to do all three kicks for this. You can change the directional input temporarily. And what it does is that um, it costs one bar of meter. So you could either do it in the air, you could do it on the floor. It does make you invulnerable. So if you think that an opponent is going to like do a wake up attack, boom, invincible, punish, go from there. Or if you think they're going to try to anti-air, invincible, punish, and then go from there. So, again, it costs one bar of meter, but it is very handy, especially if you're trying to deal with either zoning or an opponent that's like trying to be super aggressive towards you. So, there's that for you. And his last special move is going to be sort of his Raging Demon equivalent, but although it technically does 0%, well, you'll see for yourself. So, down forward, both punches, or both uh, light attacks. Light punch and light kick. Yeah, so there's that. And of course, if you get a punish, you got yourself a 100% kill right there. Especially if they don't regain any, like, um, of their potential damage back. But anyways, that is a command grab, and it is slow. So if an opponent is doing something that's incredibly unsafe, you can punish accordingly with this. But, again, you need all three bars of meter in order to do this. So, be careful with how you use it. Otherwise, yeah, you got an easy kill for Omen. So, yeah, if you want to just consistently, like, use battery enders to kind of build that up and then eventually use it, there you go. But it's not great range, of course, as you would expect from a command grab, but it is incredibly dangerous if you do connect with it. And, of course, like, if you get another punish and you do, like, a quick combo into the ender, it will definitely leave a mark. So, yeah, that's, I believe, the basis of of Omen aside from his instinct. So, let's go ahead and talk about his instinct. Okay, so he's a lot more stinkier, as you can see. But, yeah, in terms of a fire, in terms of his fireballs, excuse me, he will actually shoot an incredible, or an additional fireball, depending on what button you press. So, instead of one... You're going to get two with this light, and instead of two, it's three, and then vice for you know, etc, etc. So, basically it's heavy, he's going to be shooting four, and another additional trait to that is that uh, if a fireball does hit, he will lock out an opponent's bar of meter, as you can see on the bottom right. So, it's a very good trait to have, and it gets locked out for... A good like 10 15 seconds which is an incredibly long time for the opponent and not to mention it doesn't do just that but you do also get two additional frames of recovery for all of your attacks so it makes you basically a little bit quicker as well yeah so a lot of hits and a lot of damage. Well, you know, as much damage as you could do for Omen. But yeah, that is about everything with uh, Omen, guys. Hopefully this was easy to understand. Hopefully easier than it was for, like, Riptor and Conra, of course, because they were just a bundle of stuff that you needed to know. 
but Omen it was a little bit more straightforward, you know, aside from like the uh, unpredictable projectiles, you know, like the cross-up options with his uh, aerial, like mobility, and yeah, and of course his like sort of raging demon attack, incredibly crazy. So yeah, that's uh, basically the gist of it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. And, yeah, tune in next week where we dive into the Broccoli Man himself, uh, Agonos. <laughs> but in the meantime, thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Fight on, everyone. Bow before the Herald of Gargos. Bow before the Herald of Gargos. Supreme victory!